now the, um, you know, my interest is peaked. Why didn't it just say at the beginning, don't boast? Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing there is something it's going to be an answer. To boast about. <laughs> Should there be something to boast about? Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardi- Cardier. I am Annika Sorenstam. I like how you were able to say that right and I couldn't even say my last name right. Did and, I say it right? Uh, this here is Frank repping the Flyers who are... Philadelphia n- Flyers Frank. Not in season, but he is repping regardless. Well, you know what is in season? Watermelon? Golf. Golf. The Masters started today. Ooh. And I know you know all about golf, so go ahead. I know nothing about golf. I would like to be good at it. People make it look so easy. I tried it. I'm, not, I'm just not that good at it. And I get well, frustrated. You don't have to be good at it. It's a it's a sport where you you lo- and you love slow progress. So you could work mm. on it for the rest of your life. I um i don't mind not being good at something i'm bad at it no wait it's not a bad thing to not be good at it's a bad thing to be bad at because you know you you show up yeah to but the you're bad way. at it because it's not a natural talent i know well because to work on it that's the thing I, I get by with a lot of sports with my natural athleticism well that's bad that's bad um habit i don't i mean you could say it's a bad habit but you know name a sport Tennis. Tennis. Perfect. I actually was playing tennis with a friend yesterday. And I... Or maybe two days ago. Maybe two days ago. I don't know. I was better than him. Sheerly, I had some hand-eye coordination, but run back and forth up and down the court. Name another sport. Basketball. Bat- I'm great at basketball just because I play it a lot. But once again, I don't have. I might not have the best handles, but I will tire out my opponent. One more sport and then we'll move badminton. on. Badminton. Okay. I'm I'm just great at badminton. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am I think I've said on the podcast before I challenge anyone, um, singles or doubles in badminton. That has nothing to do with athleticism, that is sheer skill. If you would only focus on getting better at golf, do you know how much money you could make if you won the masters? I think I'm too old. Do you know how aren't they old? Yeah, but that's that's the thing. They're experts at the You'd be age the of, first person who started at, at 24. I always think that. Let me tell you guys. You are probably sitting there thinking, I'm too old to do everything. No. <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> I don't pe- think they think people that. think that. They, they look at basketball. Oh, you mean they're thinking it. They're thinking it. It sounds like you just said they're thinking that you're too old. <laughs> no, I'm that's, young that's and spry. What, um, the world what, is my oyster. That's what I meant. No, because I've thought about this a lot. You're at home thinking... Ah, uh, maybe in another life, yeah. if you believe in reincarnation. I can't square dance. What could I, you know? And, and you're like, I'll never be good at it. Look at who is playing. There's, there's, you know, these kids that are younger than me that are professionals. You should not look at that and think, oh my gosh, I'm tw- I'm 24, and right now, there's there's 16 year olds that are that are golfing professionally. I love to see prodigies. I don't like seeing old people that are doing well. When are you getting to the point that in, that encourages these people to try new stuff? I'm going to tell you. Okay. The reason why I love prodigies, young, these piano, 13-year-olds that, yeah. are, that are playing concerts, mm-hmm. is because a 13-year-old who's playing perfect piano, a prodigy, if you will, has only been playing for, what, 11 years? Mm-hmm. Which means... You only need 11 years. It would be, oh, it would I see. be yeah. worse yeah, yeah. if the only professional piano players were 60 and up. Because mm-hmm. that means, well, the only way to ever get to that level is to have 50 years of experience. But if you're showing me a piano prodigy, that means I can mimic with that person. I can put 10 years in. Right. 10 years isn't a lot. Everyone who's watching this has 10 years, unless something catastrophic happens. <laughs> 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 and you can be at that level. Yeah. So don't ever hang your head low and say, ah, oh, listen, it's a young man's game. If it's a young man's game, it means they picked it up quick. They we picked it up quick. We should do a um, out of studio video of um, miniature golf. <laughs> Why? 
It's fun. Yeah, why not? I'm, I, don't I know said, how, how much is the purse for the Masters? Oh, uh, $5 million? $11.5 million. Million dollars. Wow. Is it, the, what, what is it, is it the highest paid? Or would that be like boxing? I don't know. Those two, those two sports, it's like, uh, that's a lot of money in it. Yeah. It's crazy money. Dumb money. Right. That's why Tiger Woods pulled up in his in his gold yacht at the last. Uh, Did he? Yeah, because oh, it was Tiger. like it was, it was on like uh, I don't know where it was, Florida maybe, and just like he didn't drive to there, pulled up on this gold yacht, and it's like ah, it's a lot of money. Wish I started playing golf instead of badminton. No money in badminton. Yeah, well, maybe because um, Philadelphia is 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 one of one of the only major markets. That doesn't have, like, they don't do professional um, tournaments here. Makes sense. Where would you do it? Um, they did it once. I remember there was a time, and I don't know what it was, but they had a professional tournament here, and people were literally selling. You could park on their lawn. Oh, because they were, like you just said, like we didn't have the parking yeah. and so forth. But um. So if you can't make money golfing, make money selling your lawn. <laughs> your parking spot. Um, yeah. So that's what I have to say about golf. Um, Michelle Wee has come out of um, maternity retirement. So she's going to be um, golfing. Not in this, but it's just a different golf thing. And there's something in the Masters because it's um, a famous course that they play on. I think in Georgia. I'm not sure. But it's called the Amen Corner. Okay. And someone just t- coined the term years ago. Um, and And it's just... I'm not a golfer, so it's just some kind of it's like it's like a combination of I think eleven, twelve, and thirteen maybe of the hardest. S- super super challenging. So you but just like, gotta pray. It's a Hail Mary each time. Yeah. And um actually, you know, you can't replicate you know, there's golf courses for people who don't know. For those of you who don't know. For those of you who don't know, golf courses are different mm-hmm. in different places. Yeah. You know, if you don't know, you might think a tennis court is a tennis court, a basketball well, court. Well, well, tennis courts aren't just no, tennis courts. No, you're lying, really? Well, because you have the grass, you have oh, clay. the clay, you have the um, right. other ones. Well, golf courses are even different. They're like roller coasters. They do mm. different things. So anyway, um, instead of, you can't replicate a whole golf course. It's extremely expensive, but they replicate the amen corner. Oh. Just so people who could never play on that course can get a chance to do huh. to do that. So it goes for, I don't know how long it goes. It goes for a few days. Yeah, it's long. So, so a week, I don't know. So we'll see eventually who wins. But Good luck to all you golfers out there Yeah, who are watching this. You know any golf vocabulary? Um, Drive, putt. Four! Uh, <laughs> you know what they say? Driving's for show, putting's for the dough. Okay. And that means, you know, like driving, like he- heavy swing. Right. And it's like, it looks really cool. Of course. But um, then putting is like, that's where you, it really makes a difference. So oh, if you're yeah. going to get a birdie, I don't know, or a eagle. Hole in one. Hole in one. Have- that, I've gotten spoiled. I, I can't watch golf. And one of the main reasons is I've been spoiled by only watching highlights of oh. like <laughs> these crazy hole in one. Oh. Holes in, holes in one. Yeah. And so... That's the only way I watch golf right. is these crazy shots that are like impossible. Yeah. And um, so now just watching regular golf, it's like. Yeah, it's funny, right? The crowd travels along with the players all along. I, I love that you always hear in the crowd when they hit it is, get in the hole, get really? in the hole. I thought you had to be super quiet. Golf no, clap. It's, as soon as they hit it. Golf clap. So it's like quiet, quiet, swing, hit, balls in the air. It's get in the hole. And it's like, who are you talking to? The ball? Well, bowlers do that. They do all sorts of, you know. <laughs> I think that's just at the local Brunswick zone. No, I've I've watched professional bowling. Uh, professional bowling's crazy. It's like they're all darn near perfect. I know. It's like one of those things where it's always interesting where how well sports are are created from the beginning because it's like can you then just become per- like tic tac toe? Right. If you have two tic tac toe masters, they're just going to right um tie every time which what makes it chess interesting like chess you know oldest board game in history Mm -hmm. but it's still there's so many combinations of things okay like you said all like intros and stuff people have it down this is the norwegian open or the queen's gambit if you've all seen the show but um still once you get to that mid game 
end game it, it's you still have have masters scratching their heads at the end it's, it's interesting that is interesting so guys you're not here to talk chess you're not here to talk golf you're here because you're like spencer and you're i'm not even gonna try your name today yeah. Oh, uh, Annika Sorenstam. Uh, I can't, Sorenstam. She's a famous golfer. Oh. Um, we're going to go on the course. And we don't have a golf cart today. I don't, I I'm don't. trying to do something. Walk through Thursday. Mm-hmm. So we're going to... If you don't have a golf cart, <laughs> <laughs> it means you have to walk through the course. It's Thursday, everybody. And play through. Isn't that a thing? Play through. Do you mind if we play through? Oh uh, yeah. That, when I when I went, it was like everyone who came up. It was like play through. I'll be here. So you're too slow, and they just they want to get past you. Because yeah, because they're sitting behind. They're being. It's a respectful game. It's a gentleman's game. Okay, gentle yeah. person. Gen- <laughs> 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 All right, guys. It's walk through Thursday. Yes. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. All right, and we are back. Walk through Thursday, our favorite time of Thursday. And today, I'm excited about today. I'm not going to, you see, I have my paperwork today. I'm not getting blindsided. We will be discussing my favorite Bible verse. I have a lot of favorites in the Bible. I have a favorite person, David. I have a favorite um, book psalms which is also david shout out (laughs) shout out david um i have a favorite nope that's it but i have a favorite verse yep and that verse is jeremiah 9 23 have you ever heard of it jeremiah was a bullfrog jeremiah was a bullfrog okay um it's good that we keep like the generation um we keep it interesting yeah <laughs> yeah uh, you know because otherwise when you when you don't um keep it new then it disappears forever Ooh, it's like coco right you ever seen that movie right where afterlife um dios de los muertos if you forget about the person they go somewhere we don't know where i don't agree with it but it's a cartoon so they can well i think i also a- don't agree with like roadrunner so yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Jeremiah nine twenty three. I'm just gonna say it out. And twenty four. Oh. oh. If you end at twenty three, you're gonna be cut right in the center. Yeah, and it kind of just is. Okay. And you gave me the new international version. I thought you said that you prefer that for prayers. Well, I'm just gonna say what I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I think I what I read in my head is the King. Remember, because I, I said this before. I said reading the Bible, I prefer right the King James version, KJV. No, the like no. New International Version or oh, comprehensive okay, version. Oh, okay, okay. Individual prayers. If I'm just saying one, KJV. Okay. All right, guys. And thus says the Lord: Do not let the wise boast in their wisdom. Do not let the mighty boast in their might. Do not let the wealthy boast in their wealth but let those who boast boast in this that they understand and know me that i am the lord i act with steadfast love justice and righteousness on the earth for in these things i delight okay drop the mic drop the paper well i love that that's for today because uh i always i'm sorry i always watch the podcast back on editing and i realize i caress frank a lot (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's like because it's a, kind of a nice Salim, but then, <laughs> then you just see my hand. <laughs> Caress. I'm uh, funny enough. I'm always, um, I'm always adjusting his clothing. I don't know how he feels about this. We might, you know, get. A, oh, you're right. We might get a, get a, a call from <laughs> HR on un, <laughs> unfit no, work environment. He doesn't because otherwise he just feels like a lamp or something. Yeah. He likes to feel part of it. I like that um, you picked it because when we first start out, you say let let the. Uh, let not the wise boast of their wisdom. And it's following on yesterday's podcast where you said to pray for wisdom every single day. So Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a good lead in. Yes. And it's a good lead in because, oh, wait, a lot of these things, like, shouldn't you want to to 
Oh no, strength and riches. You can you can argue that's earthly, but I want to talk about what how we we break it down here word by word, sentence by sentence, and we're going to start with the first sentence. Let not the wise boast in their wisdom. You'll stop me. You'll say, Spencer, Spencer. Yesterday you just said wisdom's all it's about. But it's I better than riches. I think, and yeah, like I, I'm going to boast about my wisdom. I think this is important because unlike the next two, which are earthly. This can be spiritual. We talk about it. Oh, okay. We talked about it in the Do Atheists Go to Heaven podcast. We talk about it in a lot of podcasts where it is, what this is, is people throwing scripture at you. Remember I I said, that's one. I mean, obviously it's wisdom across the board. But what I take from it is I I said, I I don't like getting in in religious debates back and forths forths with people over spirituality because mm-hmm. even though I, I read the whole bible even though i know what i believe and mm-hmm. what i got from it somebody will out scripture me right and i think that's part of it and it's like it's not about your earthly wisdom of like oh well actually this says this this says this and it's like you boast all about that all you want and i'm going to come back to that because i think that's one of the most important here it is so important because because also it doesn't say it doesn't just say um don't boast about your wisdom Mm -hmm. um it's literally admitting that this person is wise yeah okay so it's not taking away from like you know it's like oh this person's boasting about wisdom and they're not really wise no they are yeah so exactly talking to you yeah you know exactly all all these things is like it's not saying the wise man's not as wise as he seems right old old proverb he's wise but you shouldn't boast about it yeah and so the next two do not let the um strong boast in their strength do not let the rich boast in their riches i feel like uh, I, that's more just inherent like if you are on earth obviously it's i mean look at me i'm the epitome of strength <laughs> <laughs> um but it, it, that's not what's what's important you know like when you are talking about growing through this this life right Although it's, it's it's good to work on your on your both your finances so you can help others and your strength so you can help others. Right. They're both things that you can do. It's not the the bigger picture. Right. And so when someone's saying because I, I hear both sort of like saying I'm sort of better than you. Yeah, brag. Yeah, brag. Mm-hmm. Like, well, look how strong I am. Yeah. Well, look how rich I am. And then that might make you feel a little smaller. Right. A little more worth. Right. Le- worth less, not worthless. Worth the less. Um, worth space. And it's less. like. That person's doing more than me because, well, they have more money and right. influence. and But it's like, no. That, right. And again, I just think it's telling that they say, um, don't let the wise boast of wisdom, strong of strength, rich of riches. So it is saying that these people are these things. Yes. So kind of like you have nothing to prove. Yes. There's no need. If you are these things, you are these things. Yeah. Why yeah, are you yeah, boasting about yeah, it? Exactly. Um. And it's, it's not even saying there's anything wrong with those things. Right. Like, obviously, you know, you, you see, we can talk about that um, that prayer uh, verse or Bible verse later of the, it's harder for a rich person to go yeah. into the kingdom of heaven. Yada, yada. I don't really think it means it's bad to have money. No. But I think it's saying it's not. So much more distractions. Yeah. It, it, it's not the, uh, what what it's all about. And it's definitely not what you should be boasting about, what you should right. be most proud about. Right. And so now we're moving on. Yeah, because since it's being itemized of don't boast about this, don't boast about this. And now the, um, you know, my interest is peaked. Why didn't it just say at the beginning, don't boast? Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing there is something it's going to be an answer. To boast about. <laughs> should there be something to boast about? But let those who boast boast about this that they understand and know me that i am the lord who exercises kindness justice and righteousness on earth for in these things i delight declares the lord you really went through the whole entire thing i feel like it's all together oh i thought we were gonna like because that's a lot for me to remember okay look how long that is that's like a whole paragraph i'm glad i'm glad you stopped me let's start (laughs) because you know it so well yeah that they understand and know me. It could right. stop there, or for I am the Lord. It right. could stop there. But then, for me, thinking about it, we talk, let's jump back to the wisdom thing. A lot of people are like, I know the Bible right. front and back. I know the Lord. 
So it's not about wisdom. You don't know him from wisdom. You don't know him from wisdom. And that tells you that. You don't know him from being strong, you don't know, rich, yeah. or wise. What was it? Uh, King King Saul, the guy above David, mm. where he had that strength and it was like he thought he knew the Lord, but then he would you know disobey him. And, and, right. And, um, then the Lord was like, you don't know me. So this is saying that understanding, um, that they understand and know me. To understand and know God mm-hmm. is something different. Um, and it's something really valuable. Yeah. And, and so going off of that, you then have, it could have stopped there. Yeah. Then you'd have the why say, well, I know him. I know this is what he, no, no, no. The Lord doubles no, down. No, no, no. And he lets you know. Right. And what he lets you know, because it's like, okay, well, well, what do we know? What are we boasting about? That we just know him? Or, and it's that. Duh, duh, duh. I that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these things I delight. So right there, he tells you what what that's what you're you're boasting about. That's what God wants us to get from Him. Yes. Yeah. And this brings me back to the atheist podcast. Okay. Where we talked about God is love, and that and and we 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 made we made the claim that. Anyone who acts of love is acting of God, mm-hmm. no matter what their faith is, right. what their belief is, that is God perpetuating out of them. And I think this doubles down, doubles, d- double downs, double, <laughs> double dutch. Holes in one. <laughs> <laughs> this, this reinforces that idea. And it's like the person who truly knows me knows that I, I act of love. And if you want to boast in something, you boast by showing love. That's. That's that's when you know me. It's not wisdom. Don't don't throw words at people. Throw love right. throw love at people. Boast right. boast in that because it, it almost seems kind of silly. And I like that they double down on it because if it just stopped, people would think, "Oh, boast that I know the Lord." And that's when you you get around saying, "Right, I'll tell you about God. I'm confident. Ah, ah, oh my God, I know God, mm-hmm. and I am going to be strong with my chest out about it." And you don't know God. Mm-mm. If you throw around and say, I love you. That's how you know. Yeah. That's, that's boast. That's, that's boast in love. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what I'm getting also is that the understand and know me that I am the Lord. Every time I see I am the Lord, mm-hmm. I always remember. I am. I am. Yeah. That when he identified and said, mm-hmm. I am. I love it. Yeah. It's. um. I just it always gives me a visual of a, of of a, of a circle, you know, no beginning, no end, alpha, omega. So I I love seeing that there, and then so it's about kindness, justice, and righteousness. Your favorite word. Righteousness is not my favorite word. It's my biggest sticking point. But um, what I wasn't even jumping down there. It was who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness. Mm. So it's not that I am kind. You know, it yeah. just that's again a static word as opposed to like um I can never think of the opposite. Kinetic. Of that. A kinetic word. Um that's that's ongoing. Again, so I am, which I p- picture as a circle, ongoing. I am. And I he exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness. Not that he had, mm-hmm. you know, to Moses and not that it was, but it is ongoing. It's yeah. you know. Yeah, or not that even just I want to see kindness justice and and, and righteousness mm-hmm. it's like i i am your god this is what i want you to do love it, it's like i want you to act like i do it is right we talk about as christians ourselves we want to lead by example right but it is god who leads by example right. and it's this constant there it's like i'm exercising it you know, like they always say the best leaders are the ones who are in front and not in the back. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's like... Like the shepherd. Like the shepherd. Mm-hmm. And it's... These are the things I exercise um, for in these things I delight. So it's like... It's not... one. We always bring up the fact that it's not this... Do on earth and then, you, then if you do right, you can come right. into heaven. It's like this, like you said, kinetic action, this ongoing thing. I love this is this is what I do. Right. I love I I care about justice. I care about righteousness. Right. And if you're going to boast about something, boast about doing the same like follow my path. Yeah. 
do what I'm doing. Right. And and you might you might think, well, why are we boasting when it kind of seems like a non-Christian type of thing mm-hmm. to do? You want to be humble and you want to be meek and mild. Yeah. Um, but so it's saying you can boast about it. I lost my train of thought just by remembering all the ways I was thinking of the Beatitudes, you know, that you should be um, mild mannered. But this is saying, well, first of all, it's not telling you to boast. It's saying, let the one who boasts. Yes. So if you're a boaster. Let those who boast. You don't have to become a boaster. But if you are a boaster. Yeah. I'll tell you what's more valuable. Oh, but, but why do you think he is saying boast at all? Because, well, one, I, like, I, I like that you said that because I didn't even really put those two together. For those who boast. For mm-hmm. the, and it's sort of. It's like it's a counterpoint. It's saying, what are you boasting about these things? And then what it's telling you to boast isn't really a boastable quality, like mm-hmm. in the way that you think about boasting. Well, right. And, and so that's like, I, I don't think it would stand alone on its, uh, on its own. Like, um, thus says the Lord, boast of love, justice, and righteousness for these things. That are like, I, don't, I don't think it's saying that. I think right. it's saying this is what people tend to boast about. Yeah. If you're going to boast about anything, boast your love. Right. And then you think like, well, how do you boast love? And it's like, well, when when you love, it doesn't really look like boasting. Right. And so obviously that's just what's important. Yeah. I, and I would love if it switched that, because right now, you know, the most famous people and the most, you know, we just talked mm-hmm. about the, the golf, you know, it's going to be the best golfer. Yeah. You know, um, is going to win the $11 million yeah. prize. And that's what we celebrate on earth. And, and, you know, it's funny, it mentions here on earth too, because it's like, you might think, well, this is earth, wisdom, strength, and riches. And then in heaven, we're going to have the kindness and the justice and the righteousness. And this is saying like, no, on earth, mm-hmm. um, let's celebrate these things. And, and that would be great yeah i mean yeah because the, the the first three things is, is are obviously earthly and so really right. you can fill in the blank and like you said it's not an attack it's no. not it's not saying those will be damned and so it's not even a command because in the end it says um for in these i delight declares the mm-hmm. lord so there's lots of commands the commandments yeah. there's lots of commands and orders and you know um directions that are given by god in the bible and it's like an aggressive and i read somewhere before that i don't know where it is in the bible but god said or maybe i just learned it in catholic school i don't know but it was like god wants us to follow him he's our shepherd yeah and people do follow him out of fear Mm -hmm. but he'd prefer if we followed him out of love out of wanting him uh, out of wanting to be part of the happy family yeah so in this for these things I delight. It's like he's letting us know, like, these things make me happy. Yeah. Th- this is what makes me happy. Yeah. It's like if your dad loves fishing and right. he says, I love fishing. And if, if you want to ever come with me, you can come with me because I'm, I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to be right. giving out that love. Right. And it's like, yeah, I'll go with you. And then, but, um, yeah, no, definitely. I think I said two things there. So I probably threw you off. The first thing I said was, um, I don't know, I guess. No, I got on it's earth. Fine. On earth. So this thing, this prayer, this thing, um, it's a great prayer, I think, whenever you're feeling, you have the feelings of jealousy, which is a natural thing, yeah. or envy. We even talked about it in the beginning with these huge sports players. Right. And it's and you can, we talked about, oh, what if you are, I'm too old for, for this, that, and the third. With this prayer, you're not. That's what I was. I was talking okay. about is when you were when we were saying um, it's not an attack. Mm-hmm. Um, you're not bringing anyone down. It's no. when when you get this feeling of like, uh, did I miss all my glory to, in, uh, days? Like, and you start looking at these people, these kids who are making all this money, right. doing, doing all these things, and it's just like a, it's a gentle reminder that although what they're doing is great, the true thing that is boast is bo- boastable braggadocious making all these words, <laughs> is, isn't showing up to your right isn't showing up to you know a uh, golf game in your gold yacht the true thing to boast about like the thing that's more yes. impressive yes 
you know, you can have your chest out on a yacht, but you can have more of your chest out right. when you're living a life of love, justice, and righteousness. And it is a nice prayer to say because... Um, if you're not a boaster, like we said, it says, for, let those who boast, boast about this. Um, it's still, you know, it's, it's when you read it, you, the second part there is comforting you yeah. that what God delights in mm -hmm. and what is, what he's created in heaven and yeah. what, um, you know, we can be proud of. So even if you're not boasting about it, yeah, even if you're not, even if you're not making yourself a statue or, or you know an award 100 subscribers if you're not making yourself an award for um for knowing and understanding god you know it in here you know you know it in there yeah and you feel good like like we started from the beginning didn't know it would correlate but if ever you feel like oh did i not do the like did i not achieve enough i don't have life? the master's jacket yeah exactly and it's like if you're doing those last three things, then then you have a lot to boast about. You have a lot to be proud of, and make yourself a plaque. And yeah. and this plaque is for the love, justice, and righteousness that I have shown yeah. through my life. I would love for that to happen. But we walked through it. We walked through the course. We walked through the course. We we're, stayed the course. We're at the 18th hole. Frank, any final words? Nope. Um, so that is walk through Thursday, our favorite topic thing to talk about on Thursday. And that's my favorite verse. If you don't like it, then you're a hater. No, no. Tell us yours. Tell us yours. <laughs> um, we have many Thursdays. So as far as I know, Thursdays will be coming around every week <laughs> yeah. until something changes. I don't know. But tomorrow is going to be fantastic. Oh, no, we have a name for it now. Fill in the blank Friday. Fill in the blank. Blank. No, I can't even say it. Fill in the blank Friday. It's going to be a good one. I just know. Until then, like, subscribe, share, and watch previous podcasts. Watch previous podcasts and boast. If you, and if you're going to boast. In the right things. Boast in the fact that you love justice and righteousness. For in these things, you should delight. Peace. Delightful. Did you say something? Delightful. <laughs> Peace.